I've been working on a new website lately that hopes to fill in a gap needed by the Android community. So many times I've heard complaints about the Google Play Store and its lack of filters, and I myself have become very frustrated with the Play Store over time. It was really the main reason why I started the App Sale website that I currently own. And I had assumed that Google would have stepped up eventually and solved the issue. But the Google Play Store is still a mess and it's incredibly difficult to find something you're interested in. So this is where the website playstorefinder.com comes into play. The goal of this website is to provide a source that people can go to to find new and interesting applications and games for their Android device. The website is in a very early stage, but it's to the point where I'm happy with how things look and it functions very close to how I have been planning things. So one of the things that's notoriously difficult to find in the Google Play Store are games that support a controller. So let's say you're wanting to find those. What you're going to do is zero in on the games category. From here, you can see we have a blue filter button that we can tap that brings up a list of filters that we can choose from. So again, if you're only looking for games that support a controller, we have a filter right here. We're going to select support. And now we've seen that list go from hundreds of games down to just 33 at this time. Now this list will continue to grow. All of the apps and games listed on here will continue to grow as more and more are added. But now we can see that these are the apps that support a controller and we can browse through here to find something that we are interested in. So another example, maybe you want to see all the games in a category that are free, but also does not come with any ads or any in-app purchases. So we can go into the filter, we can filter to view only free apps or only free games because we're in the games category. And we can add on multiple filters. So again, we're seeing only the free apps. Maybe we want to only see the free apps with zero in-app purchases. So now we can see these are the apps that are free that have zero in-app purchases. And again, we can continue adding on. So we have 18 apps right now. Maybe we don't want to see any ads in these games as well. So now we're looking at only free games without in-app purchases and without ads. This can be done from any category here too. So again, let's say we wanted to check out adventure games only. We can look and find only adventure games that are free. Only adventure games that have no ads and are free. As of right now, I have filters set up for the price, in-app purchases, ads, whether the app or game requires an internet connection, whether that app or game is included in Google Play Pass, whether it has controller support, and whether the app or game supports landscape or portrait mode. And we can mix and match these however we want. Maybe we only want to see free games that can be played in a portrait orientation. We're able to do this with the website playstorefinder.com. And as you can see here, 
in some cases the selection of apps or games are going to be limited. That's because each of these apps and games need to be added to the website manually and these filter topics need to be manually checked. So all of these things need to be going in. They need to be installed on my device and these things need to be checked. That takes a lot of time. I'm doing my best to add as many great applications and games to the website as I can. But again, I am only one person and this can take a lot of time. You can see I'm asking for suggestions on tags. So if you see an, a game or an app that has maybe an incorrect tag or missing tags, maybe you played this game Rust Bucket and you found out that it is also in a certain genre that's not listed as a tag. You can suggest that to me to help fill out the website and its information. As of right now, this is only available in website form. I have not been able to work on developing an application for it. But while you're viewing this website in Chrome or other popular web browsers, remember that you can add this to your home screen just like you would any other application. I thought about waiting to make this video until I had thousands of items categorized on the website, but that's going to take a while and I need feedback from the community on the work I'm already doing. I would hate to spend time adding so much content to the site and then finding out that readers want a unique filter added, which would then force me to go and edit thousands of listings just to update that one specific item. So please go check out the website and tell me your questions or comments. I hope to have the website packed to the brim by the end of the year, so there's a lot that can change between now and then. Go visit playstorefinder.com and share your thoughts down in the comments section below.